welcome to episode 37 of the Comic Boot. I'm Kalen. I'm Cody. And I'm James. So today it we're... It feels weird saying that. I'm James. I'm J -J -J James. Get funky with it. You know, have some fun. come up with code names. Code name? Yeah. Chocolate... I'm Big Dog Toilet Paper. Chocolate Starfish. No, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you were a Limp Biscuit fan. Is that what that's from? Yes. Chocolate starfish in the hot dog flavored water. Okay, look, I just listen. I just keep see... rolling, 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 rolling. What? See, I just I just hear shit from the internet. I don't know what it's from. It was yeah. an album by Limp Biscuit. And as as you just got done saying after I showed you that first episode of the history of hip hop, you're like, my musical knowledge is shit, and, and I... is my taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one likes my music, and that's fine. What's like your it. music? I don't know. Just whatever. It's kind of eclectic i don't listen to a lot of rap no it's never really rap is ha rap over history hasn't been very friendly to the lbgt don't forget the q community yeah so but it's, it's a lot better now macklemore kind of broke down some of those walls and frank ocean's doing the same thing so oh because frank ocean is has come out and he is a part of the lgbt community well he came out years ago but yeah he came out right before his performance on the grammys Oh, did he? Yeah, like five years ago or that something like that. Ballsy as shit. <laughs> he goes, oh, by the way, they go, I think, I think if I remember right, and I can be totally wrong, they were like, "Are you gay?" And he goes, "Well, yeah." And then he had like a performance two days later on the Grammys. Nice. Yep. Anyway, sorry, tangent to start the whole day. I don't like country music. I I, just... I don't like country music either. Mm -mm. Cody loves it. This he's one? A, yeah, he's a. Big Clint Black fan. Yeah, whatever. I don't even know who that is. Near do I. <laughs> no. Is that even a real person? Yes. Toby Keith. No. You love Red Solo Cup? No. Alan that Jackson. That's hilarious, but... Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, it gets when higher I was than a Hoochie Coochie. That is actually a ah. song. No, when I was a kid, yeah. But no, I like... Uh, Maybe it's a lot hotter than Georgia Asphalt. I like Jamie Johnson, Johnny Cash. Is that that Clint so like, movie? You're like more... Like, old school country, right? Uh, older stuff, and then I like Eric Church sometimes. Some of his stuff's really good. Hmm. I'm not religious. I do have oh a shirt God. that says I drink, I smoke, I go to Eric fucking Church on the That's back awesome. of it. It's a great, great shirt. Did you get it at an Eric Church concert? I did, actually. Oh, my God. What's a, what's a country concert like? What's a Lumineers concert like? Oh, Lumineers concert was great. Eric Church <laughs> had a circular stage set up and had two fists of Jack right at the stairs to take shots of the entire concert, and he had 14 mics lined up all around so that he could play everywhere. And then uh, his drummer, so that he could keep up with Eric going around, was on a spinning platform that spun at the speed Eric was walking. Like, so, like, at the end of the concert... For Lumineers, would people like throw their fedoras up in the air or take off their plaid shirts? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaving my beard tomorrow. <laughs> like, does everyone sit around being melancholic? No, like, yeah, you know what's, you know what's terrible is, is it a bunch of lumber sexuals? Lumber sexuals, it is actually. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, told, I told my wife that whenever we were at the concert, I was like, apparently, I didn't wear the right tone of plaid. <clears throat> but. Uh, seriously, what like, is the wrong tone of plaid? Well, I, I, I wore plaid. Yeah. I wore, I wore a, a solid shirt, and I was an outcast among, <laughs> among a sea of plaid. Um, no, it was a good. Con I, I went for uh, the the opening band, but anyway, who was the opening band? Uh, Congos. Con 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 is that the the band that uh, walk with me now? Yep. Yeah. They, yeah. They're from Iceland. Really fucking great. Yeah, but anyway, they were. They I, I have fire. I have notoriously loved opening bands more than I've loved main acts at every concert I've gone to. Like we went and saw, mm -hmm. um, oh the Black Keys. We saw the Black Keys oh, and yeah. the Flaming Lips open for them. The Flaming Lips destroyed, and the Black Keys got on. And it's just the two guys, and it's like, eh, cool. I got to hear it live, whatever. But the Flaming Lips was like. Fuck. And I went out and like downloaded like three of their albums, and I'm like, oh my god, these guys are amazing. Climbing lips are good. The um, Black Keys are great too, though. They are, but the Black Keys need to be in small venues. We're not talking about what we need to be talking about. But um, on top of that, though, the Lumineers concert was great, dude. But um, I shit you not, whenever they started playing, everyone stood up and did this. And got on their phones and started fucking with their phones. And so what? it was like a sea of illuminated faces as the Lumineers were playing... 
everyone got on their phones. I don't get it. I shit you not. Because they're all fucking hipsters, man. And uh, they just sit there and they are more worried about their goddamn phones than watching a concert. Like, is this and maybe that's the old anymore? bastard in me. And it probably is. No, because just, I'm younger than you. You just paid 30 you. fucking dollars for your nosebleed seats a yeah. piece. And you brought your girl. And you're going to be stuck on your phone Instagramming? No, like, I'm, I mean, I'm younger than you empirically. And... <laughs> and I agree. Rude. No, it's like it. I hate this, this cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> you like how I set up those softballs so, so you can knock them out of the park? Exactly. <laughs> We're just like the best duo. <laughs> it's like Laurel and fucking Hardy up in this bitch. Um, but anyway, so we are here. Like, it's like a gayer Hardy. Yeah, gay, gay. Yeah, and uh, as my wife would say, a gay-ish Laurel. <laughs> gay-ish. <laughs> Uh, we are here, episode 36, uh, 37, 30, whatever, 37, it's in the 30s, so we should just start doing episode 30-something, <laughs> just keep we it going, count. and that's how I put it online, it's just like 30-something, I don't know, something 30-whatever. Like We've been on 30-something for about 70 episodes. Um, <clears throat> with, well, last week we said that we were going to talk about the release of Rogue One. Yes. And, um, <laughs> it's like the gods came down and said... Here's it a shall Star Wars, be so. So here's Star Wars celebration. Here's, here's, <laughs> so it's here's, all Star Wars shit. Here's a here's a pre- here's a, a preview for you. So which so I guess or trailer. So I guess James two was wrong because he thought that it was going to premiere before Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. For the uh, May the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which would have made sense, but whatever. it would have. Fuck it, we got it. And I was shocked when I woke up and saw it, and I was like, Boo! I was. And then I had to send it to you guys. Exactly. I came yeah. back from work and you sent me like three different articles of really cool shit. Well, like, yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh, our our news week is gonna be great. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, I sent it to our group chat and I was like, yep, yeah, you're welcome, and you're welcome again, and you're welcome for a third time. Yes. Because yes, not only were. did we get the trailer, we also got the announcement of an animated Watchmen movie, that which is will going stay... to be completely accurate or completely. Uh, so true we get to Rainbow Monster material. at the very end. The Rainbow Tentacle Monster. <laughs> I came out like a Japanese hentai. <laughs> Japanese rape tentacle. <laughs> Google search that shit if you're over the age of 18. Um, Please, and, for the love of God, if you're over the age of 18. Yeah, and only if <laughs> Even not, then, you probably should And only, only, only if you're at Starbucks, so that way they can't track it to your IP address. <laughs> um, and then, because they're going to start tracing all that shit. Well, this guy's a freak, X mark. Um, <laughs> it's like freaking East Germany all over again. Yep. Um... Wee. And then what else did we get? What uh, what else did I send you guys? It was uh, casting. Jude Law is has been cast as a young Professor Dumbledore in <laughs> the Fantastic <laughs> Beasts saga. I guess is the right. I don't know, six of them, right? Six of them, five, five, of, them, five. five of them. There's gonna be five altogether. I would so. say you could call that a saga. Yeah, it's got to be a saga, right? It's a yeah. Pentology is the other name, but saga sounds better. I was gonna say pentology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Saga sounds better. So anyway, we're gonna talk about Star Wars this week. Like, yep. Theories. All that Thoughts. fun stuff. I mean, we could probably fill up the rest of this episode just going through this. The well, tra- then on the Thursday we're going to go over the movie and Rogue One. No yes. one's going to like what I have to say about Rogue One, but I mean, I'm sure you're not alone. No, I'm, I know I'm not alone, but especially for the older people that listen. Absolutely, because like you just said <laughs> uh, earlier, as we were talking, you mentioned that the idea of these people who gave their lives to get the plans, like you've had that. You've kind of made your own story. Yeah, I in told your that head. story in my head for thirty years. Until right, and now then, sorry, I meant twelve years. <laughs> nice cover. And then twenty sixteen rolls along, and they're like, "Here's the story mm. of how they got the plans for the Death Star, or as how Honest Trailers put it in their little thing, the most money anyone has ever spent to cover up a plot hole." It, but it's not. How was it a plot? Okay, whatever. We'll go over all that shit. But anyway. So news news this week, uh, obviously the things that we just mentioned, Jude Law will be playing a young Professor Dumbledore, which I am extremely stoked about because I love Jude Law. Um, He's been great, especially, I mean, we're just watching Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, so that kind so of guy is. So Watson is and one of the best. One of the best. Yeah, and it was the first Sherlock Holmes, too. So yes. It, was, it made sense because the second one kind of gets out there a little bit. But you okay. think? Yeah, a little bit. It does, but that's a different podcast. And One day we're going to have to make a different podcast and just call it, that's for a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, what and else? then, uh, so the Watchmen animated movie, I don't fully understand it because we have Zack Snyder's live action movie. So making an animated one just kind of seems there, It's reverse Disney psychology. We did the live action, now we have to do the animated. Yeah. As opposed to, we did the animated, now, now we have to do the live action. action. Okay. It makes sense. That, I like yeah. that reverse Disney. 
That's good. That's yeah. good. Um, but I'm 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 excited for that. But that'll be you know what nine months to a year out from here. But they yes. announced it, so they're working on it. It'll which be is great. good. It will be good. I have. I would love to see them kind of keep with that that style of art too, just to give it that retro feel. They'll do their best. I know that <coughs> a lot of a lot of artwork and comics trying to translate it over into an animation is kind of a huge bitch and a half. So they're going to yeah. attempt to stick with the original art as much as they can. They'll probably like style it up a little bit more, make it look cleaner. Um, They'll probably have Gibbons come back and help them. He's the only probably. one of the original creators of Watchmen that actually wants to have anything to do with it anymore. Oh, that's completely sane. That's yeah. true. He's yeah. a worship a snake god. <laughs> In his basement. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is it always the pimples. brilliant ones that are just out there batshit crazy? Like Hunter S. Thompson, dude. Have you seen Hunter S. Thompson's drug schedule that he made up for himself? No. Oh my god, dude. He stuck to it. It's, I'll show it to you uh, after this episode. It's fucking crazy. Oh my god. But yeah, the, the geniuses are always the crazy ones. True. He would get up at like 11 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon and do like two lines of coke. And he would have it wide, like marked out like two lines of coke. Smoke a joint. You know, Johnny Walker Blue. And, I mean, it would just be like this list of times that he would do this shit just to maintain that brain chemistry of genius that he would have. Dude's wow. fucking crazy. Crazy. And last thing on our list that we will be talking about, Last Jedi teaser trailer. So if you don't want to hear anything about The Last Jedi, if you're one of those people who likes to be surprised... Cody. Other one, not this one. Uh... Yeah, you might want to turn it off. Yeah, turn it off because we're gonna we're gonna. Thanks go. for turning it on for the last twelve minutes, but time for you to leave. Well, <laughs> real quick before we get into Last Jedi or whatever it is we're getting into next, I would assume probably Last. Jedi. Oh, you want to talk button, yeah. don't you? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this week, actually, I believe it is starts the button four part oh, crossover. I'll talk Deathstroke too, real quick. Oh yeah, we will. Um, I believe it's this week. It should be Batman number nineteen came out last week. Is or twenty came out last week. Is my so it'll be next week. It'd be the. It starts with Batman, Batman, Flash, Batman, Flash. It ends with Flash. So no, Flash week. came out last week, so Batman would be this, this week. week. So it Sorry. should be this week, then. Yeah. It should be, excuse me. Um, also, like, if you want your lenticular covers, I know that there are some Order. online stores that are doing, uh, like, special orders and stuff to get all four of them. Order them now. Yeah, or, or order them last week. I mean, it might be too late. I mean, Do talk to four. your... Uh, comic supplier, see what they can do for you. And don't go to want. ours, because I think he's out. I think they're all special. I think we literally. <laughs> I think we were the last ones to chime in and be like, get the get yeah. these. So if you're local to, to our area, Jeff City, maybe try the Aquarium or um, Slackers or what's the other one up in Columbia, Missouri. Um, there's uh, another one. Distant up there. Planet is that what it's called? Something like that. Well, there's a Slackers up there too. Yeah, they have Slackers, slackers up there, up there but there's there also like a just straight up comic book shop. But I know that Rock Bottom, um, because of the out. amount of volume that he does, um, they're they're all spoken for. So. Um, good luck in that hunt because I mean, if you're doing it for an investment, it's a smart investment. You know, I mean, people are going to pay for them online. Right. Period. It's kind of like X Men Gold. You know. The one, the first printing of it with all the. Well, and I was shocked. Um, there are people that still have them on shelf, and there are people that have pulled them from shelves that are so butthurt offended by this thing that you know they just pulled them. I would have left them on the shelves because people are going to buy the shit out of them. Money, don't you? Yeah. They're and buying I mean, yourself as a comic owner. Or a comic store owner. Well, the thing is that I think eBay. like later, you know, the first printing of it is going to be a lot. Well, because it's not ever going to be printed again. Exactly. And so the the ones that are out there now are the only ones that are going to be out there. Yeah. And Marvel after... didn't tell them to pull them. They're not going to be reprinted for a second printing, which I know has already been ordered. Well, they're going to do like second and third printing of it, but it's and not all, and it's already been pulled from trade paper too. But they're they're changing it. They just undo the art for it. Right, they're blacking out all the the, the jewelry sign, the MS five fifty one, and uh, the the bat, the thing where he's like. No, hitting. I don't think that's such a big deal. I don't. I don't. They might. But QS five fifty one on Colossus. Right, shirts and then the the two twenty one two twenty one thing. Okay. I'm trying to think of the third one. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, burped and stinky. I'm like, so I get for eating bratwurst. You're such a weirdo. 